Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a massive tutorial for ADSRSounds.com. So in this video, it's going to be a shorter type of tip and trick style tutorial, but I thought it was a pretty cool one to share with you guys. So I have a few different sounds pulled up in Massive. Let me play them for you. And these first two are extremely basic. Just, just follow along. Right? And compare that with this. So they're two very similar sounds, but they're being created in a different way. And let's talk about what's going on with those. So this first one, which I have open in Massive right now, is just a one oscillator saw sound, and I have the vibrato set to halfway and the rate set to halfway, and this is what we get. Right? Well, this other patch down here has a very similar sound, but I'm not using any of the vibrato inside of the oscillator tab. What I'm doing is I'm modulating the pitch of an oscillator with a vibrato LFO wave. So I just discovered this wave. I've, I've seen it before. I just haven't used it that often. I, probably two, three weeks ago. And I've been using it a lot since. And it's really cool because it frees up some options inside of your sounds. So if I played around with this rate, I could probably get it almost identical to Massive's actual vibrato. I found that modulating with a depth of positive one sounds the closest to the actual vibrato that's in the oscillator tab. Now, the reason why I think this is cool is because take, for instance, a sound that is using three oscillators and maybe two oscillators are the bulk of the sound and then there's that one oscillator that's adding that character. Or maybe all three are equal. Maybe it's a super saw sound. Well, if you use the oscillator to introduce vibrato to a sound that's like a super saw, especially if it has a lot of voices of unisono, well, those that the vibrato can start to lose its musicality with the sound, especially if you turn it up too high. So what this allows you to do is essentially say, well, I want vibrato on one oscillator, two oscillators, or, you know, maybe all three this way, but it typically works better if you just throw this on maybe one or two of the oscillators and becomes a very subtle, but yet powerful effect to add some movement to the sound. So I have a super saw pulled up in Massive. All right, so it sounds like that. Sorry about the little airs playing. I'm playing that live right now on a keyboard next to me. So that's what it sounds like. So let's apply this idea. So I have a lot of voices of unisono. I have three oscillators. There's some detune happening in the oscillators. Uh, some detune with the unisono spread. Well, let's actually just throw on the vibrato and see what happens when I play a chord. So the depth is about 20%. And it's, it, if I start to play thick chords, I start to lose some uh, clarity with, that, with, the, with the chords. It starts to become too much of a vibrato effect, and that's really taking over the bulk of that sound. So, All right. Well, let's look at this alternative method that we talked about using the LFO. So I'm going to go to my fifth LFO, select Vibrato Wave 1. Uh, make sure your, your cross fades up all the way so it's not blending in with another wave shape below. Let's modulate up to a positive one on oscillator one, and we'll do oscillator two here. So we'll do oscillator one and two, just pitch that up to positive one, and now we're going to have a little bit of vibrato with the sound. So let me turn off oscillator three, and we'll just listen to oscillator one. So you can really hear it with oscillator one. And I'll turn this down to point, point 0.50, so it's even less than oscillator, two, uh, oscillator one. So let's listen now. All right, now oscillator three has no vibrato. So what that does is it makes, the, I think it makes, the, you're basically selectively saying what sounds you, or what part of your sound you want vibrato to occur on. I think it's a really cool uh, trick. And I just realized that I had a rogue uh, LFO 5 on my wavetail position, so let me mute that. So let's listen to this again. So let me play those chords. So it's basically a, just a really controlled way of creating a similar vibrato 
that is in the vibrato tab itself, but using an LFO to do it. Now there's this other there's this other vibrato wave called the dual the wave two dual, which is a weird name, but basically has double the quickness of humps. Now this is a really cool LFO vibrato shape to modulate in maybe with an envelope. So it comes in as you play the sound a little bit later. So it definitely has more pace and it's more quick. So I might turn this down to about 0.50. But again, I have all control over, let's just, I want this on one oscillator. And that sounds better than having it on two. And as opposed to, I think, having just vibrato straight across on this whole sound, it sounds a little bit better, a little bit clearer. So this would really be helpful again with any type of sound that has maybe two or three oscillators and has a lot of voices of unisono, anything more than probably about three or four. It gives you more control over how you, can, how you create your vibrato sounds in Massive. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.